Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Create Island. Last episode we built this working airport complete with hangars, a terminal, helicopter pad and an air traffic control tower. But today we're going to be doing something that I've been putting off for quite a long time. We're going to start getting into trains by making a ferry system that leads from our main island all the way over to the airport. And we're also going to build a couple of docks too. But the first thing we're going to have to look at here is actually creating some phantom train track, which as you can see is a bit of a weird recipe here. Some iron ingots, some phantom membrane gives us 32 train tracks. But the cool thing about these train tracks is actually that they're invisible. So if we're going to be doing a ferry system, of course it is going to be going into the water. I don't really want to see train tracks floating around. So I think having them invisible is going to be a good thing. So yeah, that's going to be our first port of call, crafting up these things. Now, we are actually going to need quite a bit of this phantom membrane. And honestly, these guys are pretty annoying but thankfully we can craft this stuff pretty easy we got 54 already i think we may need a little bit more string though which means we can grab our wool and let's get some shears as well because of course we're going to shear our sheep here and then just chuck our wool in the millstone right i'm going to get some more of this phantom membrane crafted up then we can actually start working on crafting the rails all right i think i got stuff set up here to craft up the rails in this absolute mess of a create workshop yeah i'm really going to tidy this up at some point but as you can see here we need to give two deployers some iron ingots which we can do nice and easy Right, so they've each got a stack of iron. Then we plonk this down. Oh, oh, yeah, it's happening. Right. Oh, it's spilling out everywhere. Okay, I'm probably doing this in a really stupid way. Oh, they don't stack. They don't stack. Um, okay, maybe I should have done this one at a time. Oh, geez. <laughs> Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let's just chuck all of these in a chest for now. Oh, this one looks like it's been done twice. It's got a little blue bar. Oh yeah, process two out of three. Oh, you gotta do these one at a time. This is gonna take me ages. Right, these are both done two out of three. So if you put it on here, that should. Oh, give us 32, yes. Oh, so just like that, we've already got a stack of this phantom rail. All right, we'll put the completed rail in here. Then I just gotta go through all of these and turn them into real rail. Yeah, this is probably gonna take a while, isn't it? You know what? Probably just make use of my backpack, I think. And this should get things moving a little bit quicker. Oh boy, all right. Once again, I'll be right back. All right, a little bit later, we've got pretty much a full chest of this stuff here. I guess let's grab a few of these for now. And I think let's start pulling out the first section of the track. Now I think just in case here, just gonna grab a few blocks. Because honestly, I'm not really 100% Sure how this works but between episodes they did have a little chat with froggy and we decided it'd be a good idea to have a dock over in this section maybe like somewhere along here we just take a little fly up yeah i think we're thinking along around here and then we want this to loop all the way over to the airport which we can't actually see right now now i want this to start maybe like two or three blocks below the water so let's come out like this and i think actually we'll just have it two and if we place this thing down and hold it how does this work making a noise turn too sharp or oh, am i gonna need to keep making pillars like this or oh, okay that's actually working boom oh yes yeah, so we've got some phantom rail now oh yeah it disappears when we let go of the rail and then when we hold it boom wait did i only use one rail no surely not let's maybe just try that again i think let's come out to like here come to here hold right click and hopefully it can make this corner yes oh actually if i hold the sprint button you'll see that it actually smooths it out i think we're gonna do that oh my god i think i only use one rail oh no wait no it's actually taking it from here for some reason. I was going to say, I think I've just crafted way too much rail. Right, so we can see our track here. I think at this point, we can just get rid of all this cobblestone. The track should stay there, yeah. So we'll come get rid of this one too. There we go. And yeah, let's have to loop this track pretty much around the whole island. I guess what we could do is maybe just grab ourselves a boat. Do we have one? Yes. Right, there's the track. So I guess we could just take the journey that I want our ferry to do. We kind of got two options here. Of course, we need to go over to the airport island from here, which we're going to have to snake around this area. I think what I may end up doing is maybe tearing out some of this little crappy out thing here or bring the track all the way around. I guess the longer the journey, the better. Kind of makes it a little bit more fun. But we'll keep coming over this way towards the airport, straight past this old shipwreck, which I'll probably end up getting rid of. And then, of course, we're going to need to dock over on the airport island. Now, the actual entrance for this thing is over on this side because that's the front of the terminal building. So I think here's probably a good section to build the boat dock. Maybe some stairs down and then like a little platform thing. Yeah, I think that could be cool. Of course, I still got a bit of tidying up to do on this side as well, but we'll get that done this episode too. Now we have two options here. What we could do is loop round and come back the way we came, or we could continue the circuit all the way around the airport island past the terminal tower. Then we could maybe come across here and do a figure of eight. Or what I think might be even better is just taking a trip around the entire island. I mean, I guess it does make it 
quite a long journey. But I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool, especially once we've got the whole island decorated up. We should have a lot of nice scenery. But yeah, as you can see, this thing is quite a long journey. And if I do it this way, we're probably going to need a few more rails as well, which honestly, now I've crafted them, they're not really too bad to do. So I think it'd be worth it. But we should be almost back at the start now. If I just hold the rails, we should see them. Yes. Well, I think this could work out, you know. I think this could be good. But yeah, I'm going to have to go away and uh, place all these rails. I think I'll try and do a time lapse. I'm not really sure if you're going to see the invisible rails or not. And if there's no time lapse, well, you couldn't see them. Yep. You couldn't see them. But as you can see here, I have got the rails going all the way around the island now. I mean, look at this. It's so many rails. But I got to say, this thing wasn't actually too bad to do. What I actually ended up doing was just attaching it to kelp. So that did actually save me making up a whole bunch of cobblestone pillars. And even better than that, I actually had enough rails. I don't even need to craft any more. I don't have too many left, though. But I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Because if we keep following this thing around here, you're going to see that I've completed the whole loop around the island. Which means finally, I get to move on from places rails and start actually getting into the trains right let's actually just park this thing over here should be fine and let's start looking into some of these things that we need to craft now of course we're going to need train controls which is a precision mechanism i've done that before train casing this is a big one and we're also going to need some train stations which is yet again some more train casing we're going to need a train schedule which is going to require sturdy sheets and we also need sturdy sheets to actually make the train casing itself so i think this is what we have to focus on for now but to craft this you see we we're going to need a spout with lava in it. We're going to need obsidian powder. Oh boy, this is complicated. Right, so obsidian powder is obsidian in one of these crushing thingies. And luckily for me, Rogies have already been making crushes. But do we have any obsidian? No. Okay. Right, well, first things first, we're going to have to go find some lava. Maybe we'll go look around on the mainland. Wait. Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, look at that. That's actually so convenient. Right, land this thing down here. Not too close to the lava, please. Oh, it looks like Froggy's already been here collecting some. But if we just throw our water down quickly. Yes. And we should just be able to vein mine at this, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, grab it. Yes. What the heck was that? Well, uh, okay. 39 obsidian. Let's go try and chuck this on one of Froggy's crutches. I'm pretty sure she's got one of McDrifts. But apparently that's staff only and not meant to see down there. So, uh, we're gonna have to use the one that's in the greenhouse. And hopefully I can do this without breaking anything. Oh, geez. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right. Can I just, like throw it in no oh there's a shoot there oh i did not want to misplace that block did i right i need to find a way to get into this thing without actually breaking the whole entire contraption maybe i can break this <laughs> yes oh geez i hope froggy's not watching this right throwing this obsidian hopefully this is working oh <gasps> yes obsidian dust and obsidian okay i might have broken this how do i pick this up maybe i need to Break this. Oh, geez, this is bad. We are getting obsidian powder, though. This is working. Right, I think all the obsidian is in the crusher now, so let's maybe just start piecing this thing back together. I don't think we're going to need too much of this obsidian dust. Oh, we got 39. Oh, okay, right. This is all good. This is all good as new. Um, That's got to go back on there. And I hope this thing is still working. Did that have a filter on it? Um, yeah, be right back. I just got to go check that footage. I don't want to break Froggy's farm. All right, I think everything's good as new, which means we can move on. Oh man, that took longer than I care to admit. Right, let's go over to the Create Workshop and let's try and make some of these sheet things. And like I said before, we're going to need one of these spout things, which is some copper casing. Oh boy, we need the deployer and stuff. Oh, yeah, right. You take this and you take this. Okay, that was actually not too bad, which means now we should be able to make the pump. I mean, the spout, we actually do need to make a pump still. Should just be able to make that, right? Yeah, easy. Right, we're also going to need some pipe as well. And I think this is probably not going to be a permanent thing, so let's set this up outside. If we just chuck the pump, like, here, we'll get pipes coming up like this with the spout here. Now we just need this thing to pump some lava, which, of course, we do have some here, so... Just need to get this pipe pointing down and then across there. Now I just need a small cog to attach to that, which... Yes, we do have. Let's go. Right, slap that there. Oh, damn it. The pipe's not facing the right way now. Oh, this is slightly frustrating. Yep. Um, just give me one second. Oh, wait. Oh, it's already taken the lava. Oh, it's already in there. Okay, we might actually need to go get some more lava, right? Um, oh, we've actually just got more in the system. Probably for Froggy, but it's eh, going to be fine. Right, so if we come back to this sturdy sheet, we need a deployer underneath it. And then let's check the powdered obsidian on top of that. Did I say deployer? I meant depot. There we go. We'll slap this down there. This is such a mess, but we should better slap this down. Yeah, stage one of this thing. 
Right, we're gonna need a few of these, so let's just quickly do that. All right, we've got eight of these things now, which hopefully is gonna be enough for today. We just need to chuck these onto a press, and there we go. Yo, the sturdiest rocks. You're damn right. Okay, I gotta do this just a few more times, and then we can move on. All right, eight sturdy sheets crafted. Now we've got to start making some of this train casing. So for that, we need some brass casing, which is nice and easy. So what we've got to do is give the deployer sturdy sheets, then check brass casing on the depot. All right, so I only want to make five of these. Let's give this guy that and throw these on there. Yo, yo, five train casings, let's go. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. So to start off with, let's make our train controls. Just one of those should be fine. And let's also try and make our train stations. Oh yes, nice and easy, we can do that too. Then let's also try and make this train schedule. Oh yeah, just a sheet and some paper. Oh, and you get four of them too, lovely. Right, and now with this, we should be able to start making our actual train network. Well, I say train, it's probably more boat, but eh, you all know what I mean. But I think to start with, we're just gonna get the basic mechanics of this system set up just so we all know how it works because of course we still have a whole lot of building to do this episode but yeah i just kind of want to get the mechanics of it sorted out first oh wait just realized i'm actually gonna need some phantom rail in my hand otherwise i'm not really gonna be able to see it so i'll just grab one of these and if i just put it in my off hand oh yeah i can see the rail now yes right so of course we're gonna want two different stations or docks we're gonna have one here and then one over at the airport. So let's start off with the main island one first. So what we've got to do is grab our station and just slap it down on the track. Oh, track selected. Oh yes, if we're underwater, we can see it. So we can see we've got the arrow facing this way, which is the way that we want it. And then just for now, seeing as we don't have a dock yet, let's just slap this down here. Well, target is too far from the track. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to need a few blocks for this. And there's things like this that let you know I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, there's the station thingy. So I guess for now, let's just build out this way. Is this close enough? Yes. Successfully bound to target track. All right, so I think now we can right click on this thing and we'll call this main island. Now I'm going to do the same thing over at the airport. All right, we need to make sure this station is facing this way. Yeah, all good. We'll build out a little temporary platform. Slap the station down. Yes, it's connected. And we'll call this airport. Right, so I think at this point, we can actually start creating a train. So if I click this thing, use train casing on highlighted track to create bogies. Okay, remove bogey, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, right, whatever. Highlighted block. Where are we? Oh, is it that? Place a train casing? Oh! <gasps> Oh, yes, we can actually start making a train or I should say a boat. I mean, I don't really want to be making a boat yet. So should we just maybe create like a surfboard. Well, that has reminded me, though, I need that sticky slime thingy. This thing, super glue. I mean, I'm assuming we already have that in the storage system. So I think we're actually going to need that to stick everything together. All right, glue. Yes, we do have one. And while we're here, I also want to try and grab a seat, a white seat. Can we craft this? Oh, geez. Um, oh, yeah, we can craft wool, craft a seat. You'll find out what that's for in a second. All right, back at the surfboard. We need to get our train controls down with a seat in front of it. And I think we need to try and stick all of this together like that. I think that's all connected now. Does this give us some information? Assemble train. Oh, Oh, yes, all aboard. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. There is still a little bit more we need to do, though. And that's actually create a train schedule. So we want our train to travel to a station, let's say the main island. Then we want it to wait. Let's just say for now, like 15 seconds. Then we want it to travel to the airport station. And let's say wait another 15 seconds. So that is our super simple train schedule. Now, I know there's a lot more that you can do with this, but I mean, this is my first time playing a train. So I just want to keep this as simple as possible just while I'm learning all this sort of stuff but now we need to find someone to actually drive the train because uh well i don't really have my train license so um we need to find someone that's got one sheep do you have a train license oh, okay well oh llama oh you do have a train license all right well come with me buddy i got a job for you why does this look so ridiculous all right my dude i hope you're not lying about the train license because uh this is a very big responsibility we need to get you onto your new surfboard get on that seat get on the seat he won't get on the seat Oh, what's that sheep? We do have a train license. Oh, that's awesome, buddy. I must have misheard you or something. <laughs> right, welcome to your new surfboard. This is just temporary. Come on, get in the chair. Wait, will he not get in the chair because the train is assembled? Maybe. Oh, wait, he's in. He's in. He's in. Okay, maybe that llama died for no reason. Right, assemble the train. Let's call this surfboard. And now we should start to give this guy the schedule. Boom. Oh, he's got his hat. Oh, we're moving. And he's wearing a hat. Oh, my. Oh, this is so good. We're cruising. This isn't a surfboard. This is a speedboat. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this guy go. Look at this cool hat. Oh, I fell off. No. 
<laughs> okay, maybe I need a seat too. Oh, man. But yo, this thing is working. Oh, I actually can't believe it. I'm so excited. I mean, let's go to this side of the island and see if we can see the sheep driving the surfboard. I guess he's at the other station by now. That is absolutely ridiculous. And he's gone. Now I think it's time to actually move on to some building. And I think we're going to start off with the boat itself. And I think just like I did at the airport, I'm going to use a mix of terracotta and some concrete. Try and get something nice and colourful. And I mean, we all know I love fishing. And it's not really a ferry, but do you kind of want to build a fishing boat? So with all that, I'm going to have to craft up a few materials. Shouldn't be too bad though. All right, enough talking. Time lapse. <laughs> Well, the boat is in. Well, the basic shape of it anyway. And I think this is looking pretty good. Went with a nice red and white theme and kind of like a fishing trawler style thing. Now, it's actually a little bit difficult to get on this thing at the moment. But once we got the dock, it should be a lot easier. So I'm kind of thinking it's going to be level with this boat. So you should just be able to hop right on. You can see already up there, I've got our sheep ready to go. I still need to give them the train schedule and stuff, but I don't think I can do that until we assemble the train. But before we do that, you might notice this thing's looking a little bit bare. Not really a lot of detail or anything. So I think that's what we're going to work on now. And as you can see, I've gathered a whole bunch of blocks, which should hopefully take this boat to the next level. Now to start off with, I want to rip out this top layer of red concrete and replace it with this one from Chips. And that kind of gives the boat like a cool detail along here. So I just need to get this going all the way around the edge. There we go. Yes, that's looking a little bit better. Now, I've also got this pegged white concrete from Chips as well, which I'm actually thinking of replacing these white blocks with. What do we think of this? Yeah, actually, I'm kind of liking that, you know. Kind of makes it look a little bit more like metal. Plus, it should give some separation here to the main sort of building part. So just let me get this going all the way around. Yeah, I'm vibing with that. That's pretty cool. Right, what else have I grabbed here? Yeah, I think let's take a look at these template blocks. I think I want to start using these on the main building here. And these things are super cool. As you can see, they're pretty easy to craft. Just some bamboo and some string. And you might think, oh, why are you putting scaffolding on your build? Well, just wait for this. If I take our white concrete here and right click it on there, Yo, look, we've got these white concrete slidey things. I'm actually thinking about ripping out these diorite stairs because well, they look a little bit weird. And if I just replace them with these bamboo thingies, slap in the concrete. Oh yeah, this thing's looking cool. Look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. But I also think I might change up the roof color as well. It's a little bit too much red going on for my liking. So why don't we knock out this mangrove wood and replace it with some of this cyan terracotta? I think overall this should make the thing look a little bit better. But I'm sure as you all know, you can't actually get terracotta slabs in the game. That is unless we use these slab templates and just throw our terracotta in that way now we got terracotta slabs oh this thing's so awesome just got to fill in the rest of these yep of course i'd be one short you know what i can be smart here but a full block there and a full block here i'm sure that should still look pretty good but hopefully that color's working for the roof oh yeah 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 i'm throwing that a lot more yo let's go you know what let's actually hop back onto the roof i did grab some stuff to check on top being these chimneys which we've used before and also this weather iron vein i kind of thought this might look pretty cool on here maybe acting as like a sort of like nautical direction kind of thing i'm not really too sure but yeah we got the chimneys on here as well now which i think will look pretty cool yeah i'm liking it they're not really that smoky but it's a little bit of extra detail now actually on the boat we got these gaps here and i managed to find some of this rope in the storage system which i think looks really cool right pretty fitting for a fishing style boat but the cool part about this is you can actually walk through it so it's going to make it nice and easy to hop on and off the boat but it still kind of looks like there's something there holding us back safety first and all that now in the building up here's actually where the drive is going to be so i've got some of these mccall's bridges and stuff stairs just so we can get up and down maybe we need some like extra trap doors around here or kind of also need doors as well actually and thinking about it we're not actually able to get in this bottom section so i mean for now let's actually just fill this in and while i'm here i'm thinking about it let's go grab some acacia trap doors as well oh and can i cross some of these andesite doors yo let's go yep let's take a couple of those All right let's get these trap doors up here flip these up and break these yeah that looks pretty good and let's get our door here as well these things are super nice look at that little animation All right final little bits here i want to get a table down and a few chairs as well. Because when we have the surfboard, I fell off. So having somewhere for me and Broggy to sit is probably a good idea. Finally, though, I've got a little bit of lighting to throw around from these hanging lantern things. We'll get one on the front as well. And I'll tell you what, this lantern is right in the way. I can't actually get upstairs now. You'll have to go like there. But also our dude inside needs one as well because uh, we didn't want creepers spawn inside this thing. Now, I'm not too sure when this has turned into a train. Does it actually need to be lit up? Do mobs spawn on trains? I'm not sure. We're quite likely to find out, though. Right, let's quickly check our spare door here just so we can actually access this bottom area. Not too sure what that's going to be used for yet, but who knows? It might be useful for something. And I think that's pretty close to done. No, wait. Oh, hang on. I think I have another idea. Oh, please say this will work on trains. Oh, yeah. Blocky Airlines branding on the boat. You know what? I'm thinking about it. Let's maybe check in some of these textured blocks up here. Does that look any good? 
Eh, yeah, I guess I'll roll with it for now. I may still end up tweaking this between clips, but now we've come to the point where we actually need to start testing this thing, um, which means I'm going to need to stick all this together. Oh boy, this is going to be, um, this is going to be interesting. Yep, just uh, give me a few moments here. All right, I'm fairly certain this is all linked up now. Possibly, probably not. I mean, at this point, there's only really one way to find out. And honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. Right, so can we assemble the train? Yes something fell off. All right, there go the paintings, I suppose. Apparently they can't stay on here, so uh, we've learned something there. Everything else does seem to be attached, though, so that seems good. So all that's left to do now is get our train schedule, give it to the driver, and hope that everything moves. Three, two, one, boom. Train is following the schedule. Uh, we're not moving yet. Is he waiting first? That flag seems like a good sign. Oh, we're moving. Okay, right, we've left half the boat behind. Brilliant. Oh my god. Okay, so we have a little bit more sticking to do. And I've fallen off the boat. Okay. Oh, geez. Just get me back to the airport station. Yep. I think I'll be right back. All right. Round two. All right. Fingers crossed. Please work. I can't sit on the chair. Oh, we're off. Wait. Oh, I forgot a couple of bits. Okay. <laughs> right. Let me have another go at this. <sighs> All right. Third time is the charm. Oh, please actually work this time. And yeah, I've also got seats in, so we shouldn't fall off this time and hopefully not leave anything behind. Here we go. Anything left behind? Oh, just one block. Come on. All right. That should be an easy enough fix. Oh, boy. Right. This thing literally has to be working now. Show me it working, you stupid sheep. I mean, granted, we can't have that trap door there or we can't have the paintings. But if this works, I'm taking it. <gasps> yes. No. Oh, right. This is it. This is actually my moment. Nothing's going to get left behind. Come on. Yes, I did it. I did it. I'm a genius. All right. Let's build the airport boat dock. Time lapse. everyone the boat dock is in and i think it's looking pretty good right we should probably fly down and take a closer look though because i've got to say i'm pretty happy with how this thing's turned out i kind of tried to stick with the theme that we have going on for the airport of course so we've got this chip stone here and we of course have our cyan terracotta and you may know it's also chucked in some shipping crates some chests some barrels we've got these cool signs from create deco we've got a branding we've got madris branding and yeah i think overall this is looking really cool right now i did end up putting these copper pipes here which i think at this point are gonna have to go because i got some Something else in mind to put here. Oh, and luckily for me, we've got a bit of space in behind because there's actually something really, really cool we can do with trains. And that's actually make a display board so we can actually see how long the boat's going to take to get to each station. Now, to do that, we don't need very much. We need some display boards, which is just an electron cube and a couple of andesite alloy. And you get two of those, so that's really easy. And then we're also going to need a display link, which again, copper sheets, easy, brass casing, redstone torch. I mean, that's all stuff we crafted before, so that's going to be nice and easy. So, display link. There we go. Go. And how many of these display boards can we make? Oh, I made 62. That is probably way too many. Oh dear. Right, I'm also going to grab some water wheels. Going to need a bucket. And do we have any cogs? Uh, one small one. Let's just make a few more of these. There we go. Right, let's go try and make a display board. Now we've got this space here. Which I think I'm actually going to dig out some of this wall. Just so we've got space for the display board to go. So maybe we'll do like a three by seven like that. Now can I actually just chuck these straight in here? Oh, it looks kind of cool embedded in the wall, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Display board's probably way too big. But what we've actually got to do now is just hook this thing up to some power. So let's get a little cog here and a big cog little cog big cog is that how you make it go fast oh geez i hope it is um right let's throw some water down yep confirm that is not how you make it go fast of course i find a way to be a moron it appears that the display board is not rotating with enough speed wait i know what to do make a speed controller thank you all right we should be able to make this thing work put the speed controller here oh geez i need a gearbox um you know what one day i will get my head around create hopefully by the end of this series all right gearbox there and a shaft this thing's still moving too slow but we should be able to change this gearbox now let's make this 32 hopefully that's working yes we don't have the error coming up anymore okay right this is good gonna need to put something in front of that cog but we'll figure that out in a bit because now we can actually start to use our display link so if we right click this on the display and then check it on top of our train station successfully bound to target position so train station summary so we got the airport let's maybe mess with these is it working oh two advancements all right yeah i forgot it's still called surfboard and it's at main is why isn't that saying main island I have to mess with this maybe oh oh yes now surfboard main island how do i rename the train um 
Oh, it's gone. Oh, look at that. It just updated. So it's two minutes until the surfboard gets to the main island. Or is it two minutes till it gets here? Right, I'll just sit and wait for it and we'll find out, I guess. All right, it should almost be here. 15 seconds. Oh, and there it is. Yo. Okay, so the countdown is to actually get to here. That's good to know. Now, can I just rename this? I just want to call it Boat. Does it sign update? Oh, yeah, it did. And come to think about it, if any of you guys have a name suggestion for the boat, not Boaty McBoatface, then leave it down in the comments. And I'll pick one of the suggestions and get the boat named in between episodes. But of course, looking at this board, we only have one station at the moment. So that means it's time to go and build the other station. Or I should say, the other boat dock. And as we talked about before, the other dock's going to be on Froggy's side of the island. And honestly, I think it'd be a little bit rude to build there without her. So let's go meet up with Froggy over there, come up with a little plan, and then build the other dock. Oh, but she does smell. Michael, you're so cool. Don't tell Block that, but you're way cooler than him. Froggy? Oh, hey, Blocky. What's up? Who are you talking to? Michael, have you seen him before? He's just this bee that like chills here. He doesn't do anything. This is all he does. Huh. Kind of seems uh, pretty stupid. Anyway, what have you been up to? Um, well, I was working on a lighthouse on the other side of the island, but I, have you seen that boat? That's like, that's like a yacht. Oh yeah, you mean the, the fishing boat? Looks like a yacht to me. Looks luxurious. I mean, kinda. Yeah, I've been making a ferry system. Like a ferry, like with wings? No. <laughs> a ferry, F-E-R-R-Y, probably. You can spell, that's good. That's very good. Wait, so how does that work? How did, how did you make that, how is it going? Like what, how? My mind can't even comprehend that. Oh, we just got a sheep driving a boat, you know, just normal Minecraft stuff. Does that sheep have his driver's license? Yeah, I did actually check. He does have a boat driving license. Um, there was actually an incident with a llama, but we won't speak about that. Oh, OK. Well, so how does that work? How did you make that? I mean, it's just smart boy stuff. You probably wouldn't understand, but it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, that is really cool. Can we ride the boat? Yeah, we can. Um, I mean, we need to go to the station to ride the boat. Should we just maybe hop over there quickly? Yeah. Froggy, here's the boat. Oh, this is so Quickly, cool. get on. Oh, we made it. Right, take a seat or you're going to fall off. Why is, it, why is it so spinny? Yeah, I maybe had like a few issues laying the track. It's a little bit, a little bit of a bumpy ride, but it's safe, I promise. Yeah, the waves are really crashing. Like it's going vroom, 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 vroom. It's, it's going what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't worry. I mean, the sheep, like I said, fully qualified. Um, is there really a sheep up there? Yeah. Can you not hear him? Oh, no, I thought that was your stomach. I, I am kind of hungry, to be fair. But yeah, we're kind of pulling up to the other station now, which, uh, well, it's on your side of the island. Oh, so that's where this was like the surfboard thing? Yeah. I saw that earlier. This is where the next station is. Wait, so eventually we'll have a dock over here, too? Yeah, well, I was kind of coming here to see you because, uh, well, we need to build this dock, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can help out with that. That way it looks... Like girly pop and cute. Yeah, montage? Yeah, montage, time lapse time, let's go. Well, we did it. Looking pretty good, right? Yeah, no, it looks great. I love this sign that you made. It's 45 seconds till the boat comes. Are you, is that accurate? Yeah, well, 30 seconds now. Oh, wow, that was a quick 45, or 15 seconds. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think this fits your area pretty good though, right? It's cute, it's cottagey, flowers. Honestly, I love it. And I can sit here and watch you leave. Yeah, my ride's here, so um, I'll be heading back to the airport. Yeah, probably should go back to your side of the island. Yeah, it does kind of stink over here, so. Well, safe travels. Okay, bye. Sheep, come on, man. This is extremely awkward. Yeah, is he okay up there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.